Now, check this thing out. Okay, let me show you the results right here. So with this one, we'll explain how to make your fog lights look like brand new again. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys that need to restore fog lights if you have really nasty looking fog lights stay with us we'll explain how to make them like brand new again all that will be covered in this video today if you need to buy any parts tools for your car you want to save quite a bit of money check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from number two every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you so let me go well, let me show you now what we have here guys that bmw okay the fog lights are nasty looking okay i want to show you how nasty looking okay that fog light is so uh and now we're gonna go go ahead make it look like the headlight like brand new again first thing we're going to get painter's tape okay this is due to the fact that the fog light is indented in the bumper and we want to make sure we protect the paint and we're not going to scratch the bumper because uh, what can happen guys if you're not careful you can actually scratch it we can get a box as well kind of like position it under the fog light that way okay uh, uh, we will have even extra extra protection so we don't need to worry about scratching anything so let's go ahead tape it here and put a little bit of tape in the corner now same thing we can do okay right here to the grill let's install a tape there as well we're going to tape everything and i will explain what we'll be using this is uh, the back the kit with everything you need it's very inexpensive it's crazy good price you get sandpapers you get multiple things guys and i'll put the link in the description of the video below so we have the uh, the head right here for the drill okay and we're going to get the wool pad now we're going to get some water and uh, we're going to install it and let me show you okay what we're going to do now we're going to go with low rpms we're going to apply a little bit of water okay we're going to get everything wet and now okay we're going to go ahead okay and actually uh, reduce the rpms okay and we're going to okay we're going to actually uh, remove all that nasty okay deposits on the headlight you can see that white foam this is actually bad stuff coming out guys so i'm going to put a little bit of water now okay and we're going to go ahead and do that until the light is nice and clean now okay check it out it's cleaning itself we need to remove that burn deposit that deposit is um, it's terrible guys you can see how bad it is so we're going to do that for the rest and we'll continue in just a second you have to be careful okay with the edges to make sure that you don't actually cause damage to anything so we'll get 1000 sandpaper okay and we're going to finish it by hand where we cannot reach okay apply water never dry never uh do any sanding on dry okay because it will pog up the paper uh, you can actually use that one on the machine but that fog light is very inconvenient okay to get in the creases and stuff so i will just go ahead add water we'll do that for the rest uh, now it's going to look really dull when you're finished you will see in a second and we need to uh, actually continue the next step with two and maybe you can even go up to 3000 if you want but 2000 is enough in most cases okay to buff them and make them look like brand new again so let's go ahead just finish this one here now let's see how it looks way 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 better i think that one will turn out really really good just we need to be patient so uh, <coughs> let's go ahead we're going to get the next one now 2000 okay i'm going to rinse it off and we'll continue so the sandpapers that we have we have anything up to 5000 which is ridiculously fine guys even 10,000. okay 10,000 is practically like a uh, like a paper <laughs> you you practically don't feel almost anything now when it dries you can see it's going to start turning really dull that's that's perfectly normal we'll try to uh, get sandpaper okay you see that one is 2000 we're going to get uh, the 2000 out now and we're going to do the whole headlight with 2000 now uh, or fog light whatever you're doing 
we are just going to get it wet again okay and that will buff the scratches out of that 1000 and it will make it super nice and easy to polish guys so uh, that's what we'll be doing next now the uh, that material that comes off will be finer okay it, you'll be able to start seeing the bulb inside more clearly as well okay check it out and soon okay we'll be ready to polish that fog light and you will see the magic happen in front of your eyes so let's go ahead rinse it off now okay you can see we can go ahead remove all the tape remove everything we had here like the box and all that stuff we're going to dry everything really nice okay here we have a new towel so let's go ahead and use that one it will turn really dull at first but that's perfectly normal and uh, you see now what we'll be using next so i got the polishing pads right here you have two different kinds first i'm going to use that one okay we'll just uh, put it on now <coughs> you can use okay two different things guys you can use a rubbing compound okay that works really good or you can use the scratch and swirl remover by phoenix this one is amazing product too let's go ahead and use the phoenix i really like it uh, now in some cases if you have a little bit left like right here okay you might need to send a little bit more you can see that's a little bit left over of the burnt material that you might need to uh, take care of always use gloves okay when you do that but we're going to apply okay thin layer on the whole headlight now here i'm going to uh, put a tape actually okay on the trim because i don't want to uh, cover it with uh, with wax guys uh, because later okay that black trim is harder to clean actually so let's go ahead do that one now and uh, we'll be ready to continue okay with the next step after that which we'll need to buff and uh, don't stay too long in one spot if you do you can melt the fog light so just take your time So we're going to put a little bit more material okay let's go ahead do that okay so we can uh, buff it more but you can see so far it's looking way better we need to uh, apply a little bit in the corners because it's a little bit dry there first time it will absorb quite a bit of wax that's perfectly normal and the second time okay that wax will actually start working better and polishing better too so uh, let me go ahead do that now now that thing looks so much better but we are not done guys okay you can see that fog light started looking like new uh, we need to get to another step now okay next we're going to get okay this is an amazing compound by chemical guys gloss works ultimate glaze uh, we'll go ahead do that let's apply thin layer again on the whole fog light we're going to clean it with this one now and i changed the pad okay to this kind right here so i'll go ahead do that one now okay let's see
Now, let's go ahead, wipe everything. Okay, so it's not greasy anymore. Let's remove the tape. And this fog light, guys, turned into a brand new looking fog light. Okay, check it out on the inside. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so that's what we end up with. That's what we started with. So practically the results are amazing. You can put a UV coating wax on it as well. That way it can protect them. But all we have to do is just polish them uh, every year and they will look like brand new from now on. So hopefully the video was helpful to any of you trying to do that. Thank you for watching and see you next time.